Chapter 19, Concrete, has been modified. The primary modification here is that the American Concrete Institute's standard ACI 318 2014 edition has been completely reorganized. The standards chapters have moved around, content has been grouped together so that it is a bit easier to find what you're looking for and to flow through the document. You will notice a link to an outline of those chapters and where information now is in the document. Section 1901.3, Anchoring to Concrete, has been modified. New provisions on anchoring to the concrete have been added to this section, while the 2012 IBC sections of 1908 and 1909 have been deleted. The reason for this change is that now all provisions for anchoring are referenced to the ACI 318 standard. No information is still within the IBC. All is within ACI 318. Section 1901.4, Composite Structural Steel and Concrete Structures, is also modified. New provisions on composite structural steel and concrete structures have been added to this general provisions section. And in fact, this new section again references to ACI 318 and AISC 360 for steel. So similarly, the 2012 IBC Section 1912 Concrete Filled Pipe Columns has been deleted. Section 1904 on durability requirements has been modified. This section in the past few code editions has had more and more information deleted with a reference to ACI 318. With the 2015 IBC, the durability requirements for structural concrete are completely referenced in the ACI 318 standard, and the non-structural concrete requirements remain in the IBC. Section 1905.1.8 modifies ACI 318 section 17.2.3. ACI 318 chapter 17 is on anchorage. So this is another modification similar to the ones that we've seen in the past for Appendix D which is now chapter 17. Extensive modifications have been made to the concrete anchorage provisions of section 1905.1.8 to maintain the intent regarding light frame shear wall anchorage while achieving consistency with chapter 17 of the 2014 edition. So again, we're looking at the anchorage with light frame shear walls, anchorage with either a wood shear wall or a cold form steel shear wall, and we're looking at the limits of the anchorage being controlled by either the wood or the cold form steel and not by the anchor bolt into the concrete.